sink on your feet. <laughs> I'm doing this because my book on green eggs on ham is no longer with me. So, uh, how to think on your feet. This is our first chapter, uh, introduction. The gentleman who wrote the forward to this book told me a story recently. He said that while on business in Atlanta, he learned of an incident involving the great Fred Herman, who had the reputation of being the world's finest salesman. Herman was due to speak at a sales convention, and after the organizer had introduced him to the audience, he decided to put Herman to the test. He said, so you're the world's finest salesman, Fred. Well, some people are saying so, Herman replied. If that's the case, said the organizer, producing a glass ashtray from behind his back, sell me this ashtray. Herman smiled. Herman smiled. How can I do that? I've been here for five hours. I haven't seen you smoke. You don't smoke, do you? No, I don't. Then what earthly good would an ashtray be to you? What could you use an ashtray for if you don't smoke? The organizer appeared somewhat disappointed at this reply, but decided to soldier off. Um, I could use it for a paperwork, uh, paperweight or as a paper clip tray. Yes, but in all honesty, what would an ashtray be worth to you for those purposes? Asked Herman. The organizer shrugged, well, at least a dollar. All right then, it's yours for a dollar. Verbal salesmanship, the art of converting the skeptical. It has little to do with thinking on your feet. Thank you.